All right, guys, this is uh, Jedi underscore Stead for RemoteControl.com. I'm here with Dino Andrade. He's, uh, I know him as the voice of the Scarecrow from Arkham Asylum. Uh, so um, what else you got? What, what else do you do? Like, what other, what other voices have you done? Oh, I've done a bunch of stuff. So aside from the Scarecrow in Arkham Asylum, uh, well, in, in World of Warcraft, I am Mimiron, Mechatork, Professor Putricide, the Death Knight Gnomes, Fungal Mancer Glop, uh, Jesus. Don't push that button! Operation Nomregan begins now! Two oozes, one room, so many delightful possibilities. So all of these guys, uh, I'm also in Helsing, I'm in Brutal Legend, Call of Duty, uh, I'm all over the place. Uh, I've even been the voice of Pop for Rice Krispies campaigns. So, snap, crackle, pop, Rice Krispies! <laughs> What got you into voice acting? Like, was it just something that you did as a kid or something that you got into as an adult? Well, uh, for one thing, uh, I was raised around the military. Uh, my dad was in the Air Force, so I was always surrounded by people from various regions and nationalities and so on. So it was, I, I got an ear for hearing accents and types, and I would try and imitate them. I was also obsessed with comic books when I was a kid. And my favorite thing to do was to read them out loud. I mean, I'd even tape record them. And, and uh, uh, some of the neighbor kids and I, we'd get together and we'd dramatize these things <laughs> into, our little, into our little Radio Shack tape recorders and even make sound effects and stuff. And so I was doing this kind of thing from, from day one, pretty much. And I've also been obsessed with animation all my life. All my life. Uh, everything from Warner Brothers cartoons to Disney features. I mean... You name it, I love animation. Uh, I, I, I remember the first time I saw Pinocchio in a theater, and there was that sequence where Lampwick gets turned into a donkey, and it was horrifying to <laughs> see the shadow of the hands twist, and it scared the hell out of me, and I thought, how does a cartoon scare you? And so I really wanted to get into to, 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 uh, this stuff, basically. I, I think the worst part of that scene for me was when he tried to open the door, but he couldn't because he had hooves. And they like just like just started going uh, crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's a frightening film. And that was the thing that got me. How did something that was animated, you know, have the power to terrify like that? And that was when I began to realize that if you look at, at live action and you look at animation and you look at the differences, you realize that like for example, Harrison Ford can walk down Hollywood Boulevard dressed as Indiana Jones and you've got an actor in costume walking down the street. Put a camera on him and now all of a sudden it's Indiana Jones walking down the street. It's life captured at 24 frames a second. Yeah. But Bugs Bunny can't walk down Hollywood Boulevard. He only exists when the projector is running. Animation is life created at 24 frames a second. And that to me is magic and I love being part of that. That's awesome. So what else you got going on here? What's, well, uh, what's geek dating? Soulgeek.com. Soulgeek.com. Well, um, I was married to voice actress Mary Kay Bergman, who we lost in November of 1999. And yes, thank you. And at the time of her passing, she was one of the top five women in animation. I mean, she she created all the female voices in South Park. Uh, she was a good lord. What Disney feature wasn't she in throughout the 90s? Uh, she was a, a force of nature, and she was my soul geek. We would go to these conventions. We had Starfleet uniforms. We collected animation cells. We'd go to Disneyland at the drop of a hat. And she was my geek. Uh, she was my best friend. And when I lost her, I was a mess. Uh, and years later, uh, another wonderful geek came into my life, uh, my gal Casey, who was my high school sweetheart. I hadn't seen her in 26 years. And she helped mend a broken heart. And the two of us decided to make some good come out of tragedy and so we created this we we built soulgeek.com and we put it out there and it's basically match.com for geeks it is for people who love great works of imagination who are into sci-fi horror fantasy animation anime manga conventions cosplay fan art fan fiction signings film scores if you're into great works of imagination this is where to find that soulmate it was basically a way to make something good come out of tragedy. Uh, we launched the site in 2007. We've got thousands of members worldwide now. There's wedding number 14 right there. There's wedding number 15. The banner needs to be replaced. We're up to 20 now. <laughs> and we just launched on July 4th the all new Soul Geek 2.0, which is a completely new, totally state of the art site. And it's just blowing up. 
So uh, I am, I'm a voice actor. I'm also a voice teacher. I teach animation voiceover now at Kalmanson and Kalmanson's uh, alongside Steve Staley. I'm one of their two top uh, animation voice teachers. Uh, and I'm a matchmaker. So life is good right now. Life is really good. That's awesome. So just go to uh, soulgeek.com and just sign up. Yes, go to soulgeek.com, sign up. There's a link at the bottom that says the story of Soul Geek. It tells all about uh, how the site was built in memory of Mary Kay Bergman and and, uh, all the good that we're doing. It's very interesting how you're the voice of the Scarecrow, who's like the scariest person in Batman, (laughs) yet you're such a... You're in my uh, come now, Batman. It just comes to me. I don't know why. I'm good at villainy. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, where do you draw your inspiration from? Like, because you're a very uh, amicable person. You're so friendly. Like, I draw inspiration from all over the place. For the Scarecrow in Arkham Asylum, I basically took an impression that I did of Malcolm McDowell, the older voice, and I took the English out of it, and that became the voice of Dr. Crane. Uh, and I do that. As an actor, you draw on things. Like when I did um, High Tinker or Mechatork, when we had to do the uh, Battle of Nomragon speech, because uh, Warcraft is Warcraft and we don't get to see the scripts in advance, I just had to draw on things instantly. Uh, and so when they said, we're going to do this speech, they described to me what the scene was, and I just said to myself, uh, okay, uh, Roddy McDowell at the end of Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, when the humans are on their knees, and the, uh, the city is in flames, and there's all the apes, and this is the rousing speech that he gives, and I fixed that image in my head, and I delivered the Battle of Nomragon, and the whole speech was all done with that image in my head. You know, as an actor, you just, you just draw on things as fast as you can. Uh, Mimiron, on the other hand, the, 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 this guy, um, I just took an impression of Daffy Duck. You're despicable, that guy, and I added a lot more gravel to it, and that became Mimiron. <laughs> you know, but it's Daffy Duck with a lot of gravel. You know, you just draw your inspirations from wherever you can get them. That's awesome. Once again, guys, this is Dino Andrade, uh, an amazing voice actor. Uh, go ahead and check out soulgeek.com. Yes. Sign up, find some love, and uh, also, where, where would we go if we wanted to get some uh, some voice coaching from you? Uh, Kalmanson and Kalmanson's in Burbank. There's ye old flyer right there. Uh, Kalmanson and Kalmanson's is one of the top casting houses of all in all of Los Angeles, all, in all the world. Uh, and just give them a call. Uh, they have foundations classes, demo prep workshops. Uh, great improv classes uh, taught by uh, Stephen Tobolowski and then there's Steve Staley and I who teach the animation levels uh, and a lot of great people got their start there. A lot of great people uh, and you can be one of them. Awesome. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your con. Thank you. Thank you.